Chance can do nothing because chance is no thing. Chance does not have being or substance in an ontological sense. Being, usia, substance. Chance is nothing and chance can do nothing. But we still use the word chance or more correctly probabilities in dealing with issues in science and mathematics. And I want to talk about that for just a few moments. But I want to read a couple quotes to kind of solidify what we're talking about and where we're going. The first quote is from R.C. Sproul and he says this, we know that chance can never be the real cause of anything because there is no such thing in the world as chance. Speaking of chance in a causal way is begotten from ignorance of real causes. Chance is an unreal cause, which is really no cause. So chance, ontologically speaking, can do nothing because it is no real thing. It has no real causal power. So to say that the universe was created by chance, there's simply no way that the universe could be created by chance because chance is nothing. So now let's look at probabilities and what David Hume had to say about probabilities. He said this, there is certainly a probability which arises from a superiority of chances on any side. And according to this, superiority increases and surpasses the opposite chances. The probability receives a proportionable increase and begets still a higher degree of belief or assent to that side in which we discover the superiority. So he's simply talking about probabilities and whether or not this can take place and whether or not the chances of it taking place lean this way or the chances or probabilities of something leaning this way or to that side. So let's look at the universe. Can chance create the universe? What's the probabilities of a long time and natural process chance creating the universe? Let's simply go through an exercise of numbers and mathematical probabilities and discover what is the chance that the universe could come about simply by natural causes. And when we say this, we're saying this, we're saying let's just for a moment, assume God is not there. Can evolution answer the question of the origin of life? Can evolution answer the question of the existence of the universe? Is evolution a hypothesis that has explanatory power and explanatory scope? Is it a sufficient hypothesis and theory about the beginning of life and the beginning of the universe? Is chance really something that we can say has a chance of creating the universe? Does it have explanatory power as a theory? Does evolution have explanatory power and explanatory scope as a theory to be sufficient to bring about all the facts? This is worldview issues. Is it a valid theory about the beginning of life and the beginning of the universe? Well, let's look at probabilities and look, let's look at chance not as an ontological thing, but as a functional thing. Let's look at chance as mathematical probabilities. So when you consider just the first sale, to show up life. In order for life to evolve, what are the chances of life evolving or the universe coming about by chance? Well, I'm not going to deal with just the material aspect coming into existence by chance, but let's deal with the real issue, life, life coming about by chance. What are the probabilities of life happening simply by chance? Howard Morowitz of Yale University said this, for a single bacterium to emerge by chance would be one in 10 to the 100 billion, not million, but billion. One chance in 10 to the 100 billion. That is one with 100 billion zeros behind it. An astronomical number. A number that we can hardly conceive of in our minds. He said for a single bacterium cell to come into existence by chance, by naturalistic processes, would be one in 10 to the 100 billion. That is a huge number. Let's break that down and really see what that is saying about the origin of life. We're not talking about advanced life. We're talking simply about a bacterium cell. So let's continue on. When you look at this number, 10 to the 100 billion, it takes 10 to the 100 billion interactions of these particles bumping into each other by chance in order to form amino acids, in order to form proteins and those things that are necessary for a cell. So these things interacting, it would be 10 to the 100 billion interactions to allow some bacterium cell to evolve simply by chance. So is it possible in our universe to have bacterium cells to evolve simply by chance or probability. Now our universe is 13.78 billion years old. I want to convert that to seconds in order to illustrate this chance happening to you. Our universe, let's roughly say that it's 15 billion years old and 15 billion years calculates into 10 to the 17 seconds. That's 10 with 17 zeros behind it. 10 to the 17 seconds. That's how old our universe is. And let's conceive of interactions. How many interactions can we have take place in one second? 
Remember, you've got to have all these interactions in order for this cell to evolve by chance. So let's look at these interactions. What is the max number of interactions that we can have take place per second? Well, let's just say it's 10 to the 20. That's 10 with 20 zeros behind it, a, a huge number in its own right. But we're going to allow 10 to the 20 interactions to take place every second. Now, how many particles are in the universe for us to work with? Well, baryonic material in the universe, particles in the universe, there is 10 to the 84 virons or baryons in the universe. That's particles that are made up of quarks, protons and neutrons, the, the particles of matter, the things that a bacterium would be built of. So there's 10 to the 84 baryons in the universe. There's 10 to the 17 seconds in the universe that we have to work with. And there's 10 to the 20 interactions that we're going to allow per second. So what does that calculate into? Well, this is really what it's telling us. It would take 10 to the 121 interactions that could actually take place in our universe. You could not have any more interactions between the beginning of the universe and present day. You could not have any more than 10 to the 121 interactions. That is 10 with 121 zeros behind it. A unbelievable number. Let me give you an illustration. 10 to the 120 dimes would take you up to the nearest star and back 125 times. That is a lot of dimes, but that's how big that number is. That's a huge number. But that's the max amount of interactions that could take place in our universe since the beginning of time to present day. 10 to the 121. The chances of one bacterium cell coming into existence by chance is 10 to the 100 billion. Do you see the problem with evolutionary theory and chance? Chance cannot create the universe. Chance cannot answer the existence question of life. I hope you enjoyed this program. I encourage you, contact us, watch us on channel 26. I encourage you, write to us, let us know what you think about the program. I'm Dr. Kenny Rhodes and I'm so glad you've tuned in today. Thank you for watching and may the Lord bless you.